All right, man. So look, first off, first off, first off, I just want to say I appreciate every last one of y'all, man. Real talk. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Now, this video is not going to be posted on Thanksgiving simply because I know Thanksgiving is time where you enjoy your family. You know, y'all eating good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably gaining weight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do what you got to do. Eat good. Eat all the turkey. Eat all the sweet potatoes you can eat. You know what I'm saying? But I just really want to say, bro, I'm really thankful for all y'all, man. Real talk. Uh, I'm thankful for God for even blessing me in the position I'm in right now. I might not be at the top, like, like at the top, top. But to me, I'm at the top. You feel me? So, anyway, so look, um, I got this video right here, man. I got this video right here. Now, if y'all have, if y'all been sleeping under a rock, this is a mod Arbery situation. I just heard about the situation yesterday. I just heard about the situation yesterday, and it's sad the way this man died. But at the same time, I'm not gonna say he deserved it. Nobody deserved to die. You feel me? Because every, at the end of the day, people still have parents. People still have all these type of family members who grieve over this. So nobody deserves to die. You know what I'm saying? But I did uh read up on it and this. The whole situation is sad, you know what I'm saying? Thank God that the people who killed him, you know what I'm saying, got, they they are guilty. I believe that they should be guilty for what they did, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no no mercy for them, no pity for them, you know? So I, I'm glad they are guilty. But I have never in my life heard a black man say this, besides me, besides me, you know what I'm saying? Besides Officer Tatum and all of them. But I have not ever heard a, a random black guy say this ever in my life. Okay, so when I seen this video, I was like, hold, hold on, hold on. My boy, my man said this? Oh, yeah, we got to react to it. You know what I'm saying? So this is Ahmaud uh, Ahmad Arbery dad, all right? And he, bro, he spoke some toast, some stuff for you, heard me? So let me go ahead and get into it, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications for your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it, man. I want to give all glory to God. Yes. Right off the rip, he said, I want to give all glory to God. I'm already liking him. Because that's who made all this possible. Yes, it is. Number two, I want to thank his mama. Yes. yes. I want to thank my sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. I want to thank my children for being strong through this rough time. Yes. Because I know it was hard what they had to deal with. Yes. And number two, I want to thank all y'all people, all the support y'all gave us. Because yes. All right, so look, I'm going to go ahead and skip to like the part where he starts to say what he said, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to get my thoughts, and I don't want this video to be too long. You weren't working. You had people out here working, marching, right. going in these offices. Yeah. yeah. We conquered that lynch mob. Yes. Kill life does matter. That's right. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We conquered that lynch mob. Yes. We got that lynch mob. This history of the day. Letting you know that. Black kill life does matter. That's right. For real, all life matter. All life. Yes, yes sir. Not, we don't want to see nobody go through this. Amen. I don't want to see no daddy watch the kid get lynched and shot down like that. Thanks. That, you know, we're going to play the whole video. I'm going to get my thoughts at the end. I'm gonna so it's all our problem. It's all our problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, let's keep fighting. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep doing it and making this place a better place for all human beings. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. All human beings. Yeah. Amen. Everybody. Amen. everybody. Amen. Love everybody. Love everybody. Love everybody. All human beings need to be treated equally. Yeah. We've been to conquer this lynching. Today is a good day. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen to that, my brother. Amen to that, my brother. So, look, I really want to get into this situation. So, first off, this man said, not only do black lives matter, but all lives matter. Something that a lot of people don't see. And the reason why a lot of people don't see this is because they look at the fact that so many black people are dying. But y'all got to look at it, too. Black people killing black people. You feel me? Like, all races killing our own race more than a white man killing us. You feel me? So, it's just like white people. You know what I'm saying? White people dying out here, too. Asians dying out here, too. They might not. I haven't heard about like a lot of Asians or you know Hispanics dying from a lot of gun violence, but they die for gun violence too. You know what I'm saying? They not they not special. They die from gun violence too. And what people gotta realize is that all lives matter. Nobody should go through the fact that their son, their son, was shot dead. For this man to sit here and say that with a I know his heart broken. For him to sit here and say that with a broken heart and to say that all lives matter after three white men just killed his black son. Boy, you got balls. You got balls down to the flaws. You heard me because, dog, a lot of people can't really, a lot of people put their pride over themselves. They put their pride. They say, oh, three white men killed the black man. Oh, he's racist. Oh, no, he's racist. Forget that. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. No. No, because at the end of the day, if a black man killed them three white men, their family would have been devastated. You know what I'm saying? Now they got to go through that grieving moment. 
grieving is not a good thing. I like I don't know why grieving is so hard because we all die. We all die. But when it comes down to one of our own dying, it hurts the most. It hurts the most just to see. It hurts more for our own loved ones to die than to see somebody else getting murdered. But when your own when your own family member get murdered, that hurts. And nobody should go through that. No whites, no blacks, no Hispanics, no Chinese, no Asians, no, no race should go through that. All lives matter. We should make this place a better place for everybody. Stop the killing. And people can say stop the killing all day long, but people still go kill because people got anger built into their heart. For some odd reason, people got so much anger built into them heart, built into their hearts. The fact that they just out here killing people. Now, did these white men deserve to go down? Yes, they did. not Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I'm not going to say they did it. No, I am totally against. I know I'm totally for to say that they deserve the punishment that they deserve. They deserve to be guilty. I'm not going to sit here and say they deserve to be guilty. Anybody who murders, anybody who murders deserve to be guilty. Now, Kyle Rittenhouse situation was a whole different situation. That was like a self-defense type of situation. This man didn't kill no random person. Now, from the stories I heard about this Amal Arbery situation, it's a whole bunch of different stories. First off, I seen one story of somebody saying, oh, no, I seen one article where it was like these white men thought he was a suspect for um, a murder. I mean, for break-ins, you know what I'm saying? For break-ins. But the police said that there was no cause on break-ins. So that was one story I heard. Then I heard another story that say that, that you know, it was video footage of this man walking around inside of a construction area. And while he didn't take anything. He was just walking in there. Then he started running. Then I seen, a, I heard a shot go off. Boom. And he started to wrestle with some dude with a, I don't, bro. It's a whole bunch of different stories on this situation that I can't be biased. I can't be for this, for this. I don't know because I wasn't there the only thing i can say is that from what i'm hearing if it's true that they killed him because they thought key word they thought he was somebody that he wasn't because they thought he was a he matched the description or he thought they thought that he was the suspect who'd been breaking in if they try and i heard it was supposed to be a citizen arrest or whatever if they thought that and they was wrong they deserve the time that they have you know what i'm saying even if they were right and this was the suspect for the break-ins, they still deserve the time because at the end of the day, mind your business. Yes, it's been break-ins. He probably, he probably was breaking into people places or whatever, however the situation go. At the same time, ain't no sitting, sitting arrest or none of that. No, mind your business. Call the cops. You see them again, call the cops. Let the cops handle it. Although you are an ex-police officer, because I think one of them dudes was an ex-police officer, still leave it up to the actual authorities you're an ex-police officer you just killed this young black dude you know what i'm saying because you thought he was a break-in whether he was or was not you still just killed him and took him away from his parents his dad is heartbroken although he said all last night he's still heartbroken at the end of the day his mother heartbroken their son is gone their son would never be back he's not coming back and that's why i just need people to understand I don't care. Like, I, I don't care. If you murder, you deserve to be in life. You deserve life in prison if you murder. You deserve to be in jail for life. You know what I'm saying? For life. Unless it's a self-defense aspect. Like, Kyle Rittenhouse was a self-defense self aspect. If it was a self-defense aspect, then that's cool. You have the right to defend yourself. But if you just thinking that somebody is somebody that they're not, and you shoot, now, like I said, I don't know the full story. There's so many different stories on this situation, so I don't know. I'm only going off what I'm hearing the most. I can't go off one story in this story because I'm only going off what I'm hearing the most. Anyways, uh, so look, man, yeah. I just wanted to uh, make this video because, hey, all lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter, my guy. All lives matter, regardless of what i don't care what race you do i don't care what you did to black people i don't care what you, what black people did to white people all lives matter at the end of the day because at the end of the day we all got one father that i believe in which is god jesus christ the one who died on the cross for our sins you know what i'm saying so we all brothers and sisters in christ regardless we might not bleed the same but spiritually we are the same technically Jesus is our savior, whether you believe it or not. God is our father, whether you believe it or not. Simple as that. Anyways, man, so I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.